Hi everybody, I'm Diana Yoder and I am the Astronomy Education Coordinator here at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery. Right now I am sitting inside of our planetarium at the control console and we are about to go on a quick tour of the inner solar system. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off our tour at the center of our solar system, the sun. The sun is our source of light, heat, and energy for not only the Earth, but the entire solar system. We see some pretty cool things across the surface of the sun. There are some dark spots, and those are actually cooler regions of the sun. So in some places, the sun is a few million degrees, but on those sunspots, it's only a few thousand degrees. So relatively, it's a lot cooler there also see it looks like there's clouds surrounding the sun right now. That's what we call the solar corona. It's kind of like the sun's atmosphere. We've got gases that expand out and away from the sun itself. Without the sun, we would have a very difficult time. Like I said, it's our source for light, heat, and energy, not only for Earth, but for the other planets as well. Let's fly on out to our first planet in our solar system. You guess what it is? And here we are arriving at Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. It often gets confused for the moon because it's a small gray round shape and that shares a lot of similarities with the moon. Right now we're looking at the night side of Mercury. So any planet's gonna have a day side and a night side. The day side is the side facing the sun and the night side is the side facing away from the sun. Let's spin back around to the day side so we can see some of those cool features on the surface of Mercury. You can see lots of little dots off marking the surface. Those are craters. So when asteroids flying through space crash into the planet, they create some pretty interesting marks across the planet itself. You can see really low spots and there's some high spots as well. Let's start spinning back the other way. And you can see lots of really good features on Mercury's surface here. And it is best known for being the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. All right, let's head on out to the next planet. Can you guess what it is? And here we are arriving at the planet Venus. Venus is sometimes known as the twin of Earth because we're about the same size as each other. Venus is just a little bit smaller than the Earth is. It does have some similarities. It's got a really thick atmosphere and the Earth of course has an atmosphere as well, but Venus is much, much thicker. Those clouds actually trap in a lot of heat making Venus the hottest planet in the solar system. And I can actually make those clouds disappear we can see beneath the surface and we can see all the really cool features on the surface. Back around the other way. The very reddish orange planet beneath all of those clouds. Lots of heat going on and it's a very beautiful sight to see. All right, let's fly out to the third planet. You should be familiar with this one. And here we are arriving at Earth, the third planet from the sun. It's a very special planet near and dear to our hearts because it is the only planet where life can form, at least that we know of. Here on the night side of the Earth, we can see some beautiful lights for people up late and working, leaving their lights on. That light scatters out into the sky and people can even see those lights from space. Earth is special because it is the only place in the solar system where water can exist in all three states of matter. We've got liquid water in the form of oceans and seas. We've got solid water in the form of ice caps and those glaciers. And we've got vapor water in the form of those clouds surrounding the planet and the gas in the atmosphere. So having water in all three states helps life to flourish. Awesome. 
Let's head on out to the fourth and final planet in our tour of the inner solar system. Here we are at the planet Mars. Mars is a pretty great planet. It shares a lot of similarities with the Earth. It is smaller than we are, so it's only half the size, but it rotates on the tilts like we do, so it has polar ice caps like we do and seasons like we do. It's got tall mountains and deep trenches like we do. So we've sent a lot of rovers to go dig around in the dirt and discover as much as we can about the planet Mars. And by learning about Mars's history, we can actually learn about the entire solar system and what it was like a long time ago as well. So this concludes our tour of the inner solar system. We've got those four rocky planets and each one of them we could stand on. Thank you for joining me on this tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and subscribe and keep a lookout for more videos, including the outer solar system.